In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a very simple category and subcategories to your Magento store. Um, just before I go into how to add the categories, if you go to System Manage Stores and then click on your store, your websites and your store's root categories display here. So in this instance, it's the default category. That means any categories that we create as top level categories on our store, we need to go within this default category because that acts as the um, overall category for the store. So if you go to catalog manage categories, we can get started. So there it is, default category. I want to add categories within that as my top level parent categories. So rather than add, click another add root category, I'm going to add subcategory. And I'm going to call this one books. And I'm going to set it to active, yes. And that's what I'm going to do on this one. Click save, and then it shows up over here in a nice sort of nested tree view to show you how the categories are structured. I'm going to add another one. So this one's going to be, again, default category. Click add sub category, and then music. So that's active. Okay, now I'm going to start to add subcategories to this um, books category. So I'm going to click on it so it's highlighted, then click add subcategory. And then this time I'm going to create a category called humor. I'm going to set it as active yes. The hierarchy will generate itself based on whatever your category name is and whatever the parent category name is. So in this case, well, in this case, it will be humor but it will be within the books category. So in your URL at the top, it will say yourdomain.com forward slash books forward slash humor. If I wanted to say forward slash humor books, again, I could just write it like that, but I don't want to do that. Okay, the thumbnail image doesn't actually show up anywhere on the site by default. I've created a sort of square little thumbnail there. It's a good idea if you're gonna bring out your subcategories, perhaps on the parent category page at some point in the future you might want to use the thumbnails rather than the main image banner which I'm going to set in a minute. Um, description if I click on the editor it'll come up and it'll format it nicely for me so this is category description click submit and then you can see it's been nicely formatted in paragraph tags there. The image so if I click choose file I bring up my desktop again and I'm going to choose the banner that I've created for this category. I can set a page title if I want, so if I wanted it to be different to what it will set by default, which will again be whatever my category name is, I can do it in here. I could perhaps make it more keyword rich or make it more descriptive. So I'm going to go with humor books at our store. Keywords, so not absolutely vital that you do this um, tag anymore, but I'm going to say humor and books. I'm going to comma separate them. And then in the meta description, it's a good idea to fill this in as well. So kept below 150 cal characters normally. I'm just going to go with this is the meta description. Okay. Finally, including navigation menu, so I do want people to be able to browse through the navigation menu on my site and get to this category, so I'm going to leave that as yes. On the next tab, I'm going to show you the display settings. So we can decide how we want our category to present its information. So do we want to just show products, or do we want to show a static block of HTML content that I've created somewhere else and show that on the page, or perhaps I want to show both. If I show just the static block, I then have to choose my CMS block from underneath here. So there's no CMS blocks created yet, apart from the default one that you get with Magento for footer links. But I don't want to do that. I want to show just the products. I can set it to is anchor. If I want the layered navigation to show in the sidebar with all the product filters, um, all the attribute filters um, within it, I'm going to leave that as yes, as this is a subcategory, it's a good idea to have anchor at your lowest level category rather than your parent categories. Um, available product listing sort by, so this is 
the options that it gives you to sort your products. So at the moment it's tick for use, all available attributes. So at the moment I've got attributes, value, name and price as um, available options for me to sort my products by on the actual page. So I'm going to leave that as ticked. And I can also how um, I can also decide how I'd like my products to sort by default. So at the moment it's by best value because it's using the configuration settings. I've set it like that in the config. If I wanted just this category to sort by price, then I could do that and it wouldn't affect the rest of the store. But in this instance, I'm going to use it. I'm going to set it as use config settings. So I'm going to save that category now. And there you go, it shows underneath books over there. I'm going to add another subcategory called Crime. And I'm not going to add as many details on this one. Perhaps I'll add one more called Horror. And this time I'm going to set it to not include in the navigation menu. So save that. Now if I go to my home page, you see that books, music, parent categories are there. Within books, we've got humor and crime. Notice that horror is not there. So I'll click on humor. And there we go. So you can see it's brought out my category name at the top, followed by the banner that I created for it, followed by the description. And then it would be followed by the products if I had any products in this category. There's no left filter um, navigation on this page either because there's no products currently in the category. If I was to just quickly show you the source code, you can see that our page title has been set there, followed by our keywords, sorry, description, and then followed by our keywords. One last thing as well, if I now go to our humor category, sorry, not humor, horror, you better see that category that I've created still exists, but it doesn't show in the navigation here. So perhaps I'll just want to link to that um, in some other way, perhaps only on the home page, but I didn't want people to be able to browse to it. That's why you would use it like that. Okay, thanks for watching.